you know, Cuba Sound, a festival for the city of Ithaca, curated by XM Masters. The bands on this bill, they wanted them. They gave us a list, we went out and got them. The not-for-profits, they chose them. They all have a special meaning to them for some reason. And they mean something to us too, but I mean, I'm glad you did it that way, you know, and that's, that's how this thing was born, and that's how it came together, and that's why my team's over in the park sweating it out now with passion, because we're doing something for uh, an amazing amount of organizations in our town. Tell me about the inspiration behind uh, Cuga Sound. Well, we were just talking a little bit about our, our Ithaca connections yeah. and, and, and how much this, this city has given to both me and my brother. Um, we wanted to give back. You know, we, we uh, had been thinking about doing this festival for about a year now, and uh, through some miracle, it, it actually is happening, and we got an incredible lineup of bands from all over. Uh, us, The Roots, Taishi, Margaret Glassby, K Flay, The Knox, Jukebox the Ghost, and we got some local artists. We got Samus, she's incredible. I went to high school with her. Um, <laughs> uh, Stone Cold Miracle, uh, Is He True, Imperials, like we have some great local talent too, and, yeah. and it means a lot to us to come back. And a lot of things changed from where we started. There's a map over there of how we wanted to do it, which isn't how it came to be, but <laughs> it was way better the way we did it. You know, it was like, uh, it, it, it just fit really well in the park. And it felt like, a, I mean, to me, I wanted to make a true rock and roll festival in Ithaca. It was right. a true rock and roll festival. Yeah. And that's what we wanted it to be. You came in and there was radio stations and not-for-profits mm -hmm. and I Love New York and all that really cool stuff. And the, you know, the sponsors had their little activation areas, but they weren't like in your face. It was, it was great. It was a really fun day. Uh, there was, there's so much diversity in this town and so much uh, enthusiasm for, for the arts and for creativity and uh, um, we we grew up always being encouraged to just to do our thing and, and be as, as out there and weird as, as we wanted to and uh, <laughs> and this town really supports that they really, yeah, nothing's really changed. do nothing's changed I know and I love it I love it Look, we, we had hoped to be somewhere north of 3,000 people and we were over four so it was by far a, a, a better success than we ever thought it could be. And, you know, the motivations were pure. I don't know how else to write it, but um, we wanted this to be about Ithaca. We wanted it to be about uh, X Ambassadors giving back. We are hosting Hugo Sound along with the X Ambassadors. Uh, we're thrilled to have them here in Stewart Park. We hope if it goes well that we can pull this off every year and turn it into our own smaller Lollapalooza. How did they uh, How did they approach you about this? You know, Dan Smalls, I mean, every uh, uh, five out of six shows that happen in Ithaca, you know Dan Smalls was behind it. He texts me one day, says, I have a crazy idea. So I did what anybody would do. I tried to ignore him, uh, but I thought, okay, maybe I'll finally have to call. <laughs> so I t called and talked to him, and he said, I want to do a festival. Sounds good. I want to do it in Stewart Park. Sounds right. He said, I want to bring the Roots and the X Ambassadors. What are you, nuts? Uh, but here we are, less than a year later, and it's, uh, and it's excellent. And they're donating a, a portion of the proceeds to nonprofits here in Ithaca, which we're just thrilled about. We'll donate, you know, north of $30,000 to the not-for-profits directly. That's we were raised another 10 on the, you know, that. So the, the impact will be between forty-five dollars and $50,000, which is what we hope to, to do. I never really thought it was possible to start a music festival, but about two years ago I started thinking about it more seriously and I'm just so humbled that we could actually pull this off and actually do this and thankful to Dan Smalls and his team that, that you know, he, he believed in this idea and he's, you know, he's really the one that has made it happen, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so psyched. The biggest hurdle I would say was just you know, convincing ourselves that we could actually do this, like making it a, a concrete idea rather than just one of those, oh, maybe someday kind of things, you know. Yeah. And it was really, I mean, we were sort of, we'd been planning it for for a year. We really sort of knew that it was real when we managed to get the Roots to agree to, to play it with us. We knew that, you know, after you get the Roots to agree to play your festival, you've got to actually make it a real festival. You can't, you can't mess around anymore, you know. Yeah. Monday I went to the special events meeting I'm like, why are you here? I'm like, I, I want to see how it went. How can I be better next year? And the only way to be better next year is to talk about it while it's still fresh. Sure. So it was definitely a, a small amount of headache, but 
a, a good headache. Like I learned how the city works, and using the park has its challenges, you know. But I was amazed. They really, the good weather helped a lot. It was just a lot of people working together, and in the end, the vibe was great, and the the way it felt was great. We got only one complaint about noise. I'm sure more people heard it and might have been upset about it, but you know, in the end. Let's put up with it because we did a good thing. And you know, in the end, we went 20 minutes over, and we should have been been blamed. But it's not <laughs> only fault. only 20. It's not my fault. Uh, I was standing on stage, a great moment at the uh -huh. end, and the Roots wanted to play one more song, and their tour manager asked me, and my my, tour, my production manager's looking at me like for the answer, and I'm like standing with Svante right there, and I'm yeah. like, we're we're over. And he's like, go ahead, play another song. Um, what kind of community impact do you guys hope that the festival will bring? We just hope that the festival continues and continues to grow and, and that more bands want to play this festival from all over the world. Um, this, this city is uh, uh, a sponge for great music and people really love, love the arts here and love good music. Uh, and there's just not a lot of bands that come through. Yeah, and good. we hope for that to change. And we'd love to give you know some opportunities to new and up up and coming artists and bands here in the city to you know get their music heard by you know people who otherwise probably wouldn't. Yeah. Definitely. So you're hoping to make this an annual event well, then? Make it an annual thing. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's well, right. hopefully we'll see you again next year. We Absolutely. hope so. Thank you. Thank you.